Hi, beloved family of light. This is Julie. Um, it's good to be back. Uh, I wanted to bring you guys today a, um, another um, set of snippets from my most me recent meeting with the Galactic Council of Light. Um, this meeting um, was on the day of the lunar eclipse and the full moon uh, here in June of 2020. And um, what a powerful activation um, this this portal or this full moon period has brought for all of us here on the earth plane. Um, and so in this, um, these recordings um, that I put together from the Galactic Council meeting, know that um, I'm only sharing here snippets of my own voice and um, maintaining the privacy of the group that I travel with um, to these astral meetings um, and on these missions with the Galactic Council of Light and the Family of Light at large. And um, so there will be parts where <laughs> the transitions are a little rough. Um, it might not make sense at, in the first few seconds of each snippet, but um, if you continue to listen, I think that um, the messages and the descriptions that uh, were channeled through me will kind of make clear what's happening um, and what the group has been seeing during this meeting. Um, that being said, this um, meeting uh, transmission that I'm sharing with you guys definitely includes um, an activation for the rainbow light body, which all of us have as um, spiritual essences. And um, this light body is also known as your Merkaba. Um, it's the uh, vehicle that you use to travel through dimensions um, into higher states of being to other places in the astral realm. Um, it's really your, your vehicle for ascension um, and ascending into higher consciousness. And um, it's how we also connect through astral travel with groups or entities or um, frequencies such as the Galactic Council of Light. So this is a powerful activation. Um, I encourage you to open yourself up to receive before you listen to, to these messages that come through, um, whether you do that by taking a few deep breaths into your belly, um, whether you do that by sitting in formal meditation or practicing some um, breath work or yoga, um, whether you just do that by consciously setting the intention whatever it is that you do in your practice to calm yourself, to still your breath um, and return to your heart center where you can consciously open to receive, um, make that your practice and, and allow yourself to engage with that practice now before you receive um, these messages, knowing that the more centered you are, the more stilled you are on your own breath, um, the easier it's going to be for you to pick up on, sense into, and feel what um, I'll be discussing here and sharing with you. And the easier it will be for this light to penetrate into your own auric field, into your own body, your mind, your spirit, um, your heart, and to activate um, what lies dormant within you, within your divine blueprint or your DNA, your divine nature. So um, as I mentioned, this includes this activation of our rainbow light body, but it also includes um, a, a strong call to activate the water healers of um, planet Earth, you know, who ascended here to essentially send our consciousness or our frequency, this rainbow prism energy into the crystalline grid that surrounds the world that we live in. Um, and so this, this, um, call or message to the water healers was coming through um, very strongly for me as a water healer, but I felt especially called to share it um, with the public because I know that there are so, so many of us here and maybe you've never consciously recognized or identified yourself as a water healer. But for those of us who have been healed deeply by water and through water, um, the chances are this is um, part of your mission or part of your um, divine design for being here is recognizing the inherent healing potential and the power of this mystical substance and then 
um, offering that as a gift back to, into the world. So um, this is something that I've been practicing consciously now for some time on my path. Um, and it's absolutely part of my soul mission to activate other water healers who have um, come onto the earth plane for a similar mission as me. And to, um, you know, achieve that mission, we really have to help one another recognize that the waters within us hold this crystalline technology. It holds our ancient memories and skills. Um, and it also holds a lot of um, collective memories, collective timelines, um, traumas. And so there's so, so much healing that comes from purifying and cleansing our waters, um, both in our own internal bodies and the body of the earth. And so um, I won't um, go too much further into it. You'll hear all of the rest of it here in this um, transmission that I'm sharing with you. Um, there's a lot of um, beautiful scenes, and so I encourage you to imagine them in as much vivid detail as you can. Again, um, using your imagination and invoking your own curiosity about what um, this would look, feel, taste, sound, um, you know, essentially what it would be like to experience this in your own body, um, engaging those senses that you have through your imagination is the bridge from our ordinary consciousness here in the 3D that is very fixated on matter, material form, um, and dense paradigms of thought. It's, it's the bridge between that consciousness into higher consciousness where we are able to feel and sense into the unseen. So we're able to gaze beyond the veil and experience these supreme um, alternative realities, timelines, um, and uh, visceral spiritual experiences such as being bathed in a river of light or um, weaving a river of light as I'll I'll share with you and um, discuss here in this transmission. So again, just take a moment to center yourself. Uh, maybe take a few deep breaths. I hope that um, this message and this activation reaches you um, at the perfect time and place. And um, I would love to hear from you in the comments about what you experience um, while listening, um, what synchronicities um, this message holds for you, any um, other water healers out there, if you feel called to speak up and say hi, I would love to hear from you and hear about your experience um, and, and maybe share my experience in return. Um, but whether this resonates with you or not, uh, know that I'm sending you love um, and that I am, am uh, absolutely uh, in this ascension process with you. You're not alone. You are so surrounded and held um, by your your spiritual support team, by the family of light, by your angels and guides, um, and you are very much loved by me. Okay, I will not uh, make you guys wait any longer for this message. I'll talk to you guys soon. So here it is. Yeah, um, that's perfect that you said that. I'm getting, um, I keep saying ocean of love. And um, when I tuned into those words and asked to be shown what they're talking about, they're saying we're receiving a very intense light bath or, or the light showers. Um, it's connected to this lunar eclipse that's coming. Um, it's like a portal where if you can imagine like the heavens opening up and the family of light sh is showering us with this really beautiful um, crystalline energy that is helping us purify and cleanse. And they're specifically telling me that there's been a lot of grief um, and a lot of like ancient sadness that has surfaced through the collective um, through our bodies to be felt and seen and acknowledged recently and that they're sending these light showers at um, these designated points, these de designated portals or entry points to help us clear like a massive amount of density, a massive amount of grief, of sadness, of um, everything that has to do with the veil of separation or division or duality that we experience. And it's, um, 
it's really cool. They're showing me like these rainbow prism droplets falling to the earth and um, they're hitting our bodies and our energy channels, but also our, the earth's body and her water is like, um, it's like rippling out into the ocean and there's dolphins and um, just these beautiful light beings like flying around everywhere. Mm -hmm. It is such a beautiful sight, um, but they're, they're singing. I mean, they're, it feels very celebratory. It feels like um, a really sweet sound, you know, like my soul got really happy as, <laughs> as soon as I heard it. And um, this ocean of love metaphor, I think is really there. Um, alluding to the waters within us, our own emotions and our own capacity to pour out love, like to transmute whatever waters we take in or energies or emotions or, you know, with these shifts, there's a lot of external situations that um, involve conflict or tension or, you know, like a shedding or a letting go um, of past wounds or, or traumas or identities. And, um, they're reminding us that it is, it is absolutely in our power and um, a part of our design, a part of our divine blueprint to be able to transmute these energies back to love and to pour forth into this ocean of love. So, um, oh, wow, it's beautiful. There's, I'm seeing like fountains of love pop up all over the planet and each one of us is one of those fountains. Um, and, but together, I mean, it's, uh, I, there's no words. Um, it's really, really beautiful. I'm seeing the crystals as well. Um, there's a lot of like rainbow energy coming through this light shower and it's, um, they're saying these, these are precious tools, beloved those uh, of pure consciousness may um, activate these gifts or these tools in any, um, in any intuitive fashion. They're, they're saying to, um, in order to reprogram the crystalline grid surrounding your planet, you must send consciously your pure energy, pure love, pure thoughts, um, pure oneness into the grid to reprogram. And so these stones are placed um, existing in the, the ocean, the surface of the earth, in the water, um, in, our, in our own bodies, in our own homes, um, in our own crystals and jewels that we are adorned with. They're saying um, not a single one of them has been by coincidence it is composing this immaculate grid, this um, pristine uh, tapestry, if you will, where once we connect our heart's intention, when we feel that love that we wish to send out into the world and connect our intention to these stones or these crystals, it's like an, an, an intelligent technology. It knows what to do. It knows where to send the energy, where the grid needs to be repaired, um, and where the love needs to be shared. So it's like it's got its own mind. It's like a, um, it's it's a very uh, intelligent technology, and they're telling me this is water. Like water is the intelligence. It's a sentient being. Um, and when we engage with it, there is much to be learned and to be integrated into our own um, understanding <clears throat> of the power of this element, of this mystical substance that connects all life. And they are reminding us to channel our own love, our own intentions um, into our water. Um, whether you're drinking it, bathing it, um, just imagining it, uh, touching it, um, using it to water your plants, whatever you're doing with water, make it more intentional. Trust that um, 
the healing and the guidance, the clarity, the direction, the cleansing, all of these things you have been praying for and seeking are, are in the water. And just like the earth, your body is mostly water. This is where your crystals are, beloved. This is where your memories are. So as you were describing, like um, just before you began describing that, um, the pods and everything, I was down at the bottom of the ocean um, with a lot of others who had gone down to the depths. And there was this um, really, uh, it was like a crystal cave, but underwater. And this um, rainbow um, prism energy kind of beamed out and started hitting our third eye, our crown, and the uh, soul star chakra beneath our feet. Um, and I, 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 all of a sudden, my guides, um, and they come to me as willow and water, appeared on both of my sides. And they kind of um, held their, their, uh, their, their hearts with one hand and placed one on my heart. And all of a sudden, this like rainbow Merkaba popped out around me and they they were explaining to me this is the rainbow light body this is um how we travel into the next uh stage of ascension or the next um dimension um the next reality the next um, phase of growing into unconditional love um, and embodying these higher this rainbow frequency that they're showering us with and it started spinning really fast. And um, I, I started feeling my whole body spinning around, um, kind of like shaking a little bit too. Like it wasn't a, a super smooth <laughs> spinning, but it was like this, uh, I felt this weight shake off of me. Like it was um, shaking out the density um, that was still in my body. And I, as soon as that happened, I <laughs> spun up through the entire ocean and hovered above the surface and they were showing me like commanding the water into four directions. And I, I kind of zoomed out of my own body at this point and was just like uh, watching it happen. But I, I saw this, I saw my hands create a vortex of water with the ocean um, with this rainbow energy everyone's been seeing coming through like a channel, almost like a, um, a channel coming through the center of this water vortex. And all of a sudden these, I mean, just an infinite number of these rainbow light body Merkabahs started spinning out of this vortex. And it was like some were coming down from you know the these upper realms and some of us are going up and um they they started spinning kind of like dreidels all over the water like making these individual vortexes and then sending out this um this pure love i mean it's just it's like this dolphin pure love mermaid energy almost um but it's very prismatic and it's it's intense. I mean, I'm feeling it through my, my entire body is goosebumps. I feel extra um, charged up and energized, but at the same time, um, this like deep serene peace, like I'm residing in an ocean of love and there's no separation and there's no, um, there's just no, there's no words to, to describe this feeling. It's, I was feeling everything that you were saying in your, in your vision. And I think, um, you know, some of us are being called to step into our roles as water healers. And I know I personally resonate with this on a very deep level um, and have been guided uh, for a while now to practice these um, in, impressing, you know, love and positive intentions into the water and then letting it pour forth into the world. But if, they're saying, you know, if you resonate um, with this, if water has been a strong healer for you, if you have purified through water, if you have blessed through, you've been blessed through water, send it back. Now is the time to amplify and expand the gift to the all. 
share your water, beloved. I, I got a beautiful image as well. It was, um, uh, we were, each of us, uh, you know, came into this uh, sacred circular gathering and um, placed our hand, you know, one hand on our heart, one hand on our belly. And we each started breathing deep into um, into our bellies and into our bodies. And then this, um, you know, these our crowns opened up and started receiving more of this light shower or these lightning bolts, um, you know, which feel very intense right now. And so we started breathing deeper and deeper to help kind of open up and integrate them. And then all of a sudden... <laughs> It zoomed out and I saw each of our hands in a circle weaving rivers of light around the earth. And each of us had chosen different colors, different threads, different paths, different gifts, different stories and messages to, to weave in and to share. Um, but the aura that surrounded us was the prism, the rainbow aura. Um, where like every light, every shade, every color of the spectrum was existing as one and in perfect um, unison. And we were weaving this um, new kind of tapestry surrounding Gaia. And it, it feels like there's just an overwhelming amount of love um, and true desire, you know, just the true um, wish and intention from the very fibers of our hearts. Um, that we want to contribute to this ascension process. Um, and when I felt that hit my body, I mean, it was like, I feel like my whole body is crying. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. It feels like my whole being is crying. These, these purification tears, these tears of um, what it's like to witness that energy and this collective effort that everyone um, is a part of, all of us in our own special way. Uh, so thank you guys all so much. I, I received that message as well. I was shown how the crystals inside the water within our own bodies are forming this grid and how um, as we heal and direct our conscious uh, attention and intentions, um, we are programming our own crystals um, just like you can program the memory of a, of a crystal, um, you can do so with water, um, and we can do so with our own bodies. And when we reprogram, um, we're, you know, we can program ourselves to higher frequencies and tune into, um, you know, whatever uh, frequency of uh, we desire to embody. Um, and whether that's, you know, love and uh, peace and um, surrender or sadness and sorrow and grief. Um, it's all for a reason and for a purpose, and it's all contributing to this grid that we create. Um, and it's cool because they showed me how unified we are. Um, we, we, we don't see it when we're looking at things in terms of matter and 3D, but the crystalline structure is it's it's so intricate it's so pristine and it's it's in perfect harmony it's all um designed it's like this rainbow of life um flower of life rainbow prism grid that's overlaying all things and connecting all things um, and that's what we it's it's what we are i got a vision of myself um at the lake i'm actually supposed to go to the lake um, with my family that week and um I just started smiling because they, they said to me, uh, this is where our hearts are being called to go physically is part of the design of the grid. And so when we feel deeply called to move our physical bodies, whether it's um, <laughs> five feet or 500 miles or across the globe, um, we're, we are shifting these energies into the template or the design, the, the blueprint that we, um, that we create and are also a part of. So we are the creators and the creation. Um, and they're, they're giving me this message of, um, 
it's encouragement. It's saying, trust, trust that inner compass. Follow your heart to the places where you are longing to go right now. Even if that's to go get in bed and take a nap or to get in the shower or to go to um, a different store than you're used to going to, a different um, spot in nature, it's for a, a, a higher purpose. And on a soul level, you know this, and that's why you're calling yourself there. Um, you are calling you there. You know the design. You know the plan. You know your your gifts and um, the healing and the messages and the the um, missions that that can be received there and transmitted into this grid through your body, physically shifting to different locations and. Um, they're saying there's something coming through about, you know, um, just our freedom to move our bodies is more precious than we could even imagine. And so if there are moments in time when we are not able to go to the places in the world at large, know that we can, there is infinite inner travel available to you, beloved. Move your body in the space that you um, in your own sovereign space, 